Hello, I am Dr. Baba Karmbai, Professor of English at Kent State University. The following is an excerpt from A Flying Fool from the book African American Folk Tales, Stories from Black Traditions in the New World, selected and edited by Roger D. Abrahams. These words and this story inspired the religion and racialization section of this exhibition. We invite you to listen as you view the artworks. This colored man died and went up to there to meet his maker. But when he got to the gates, St. Peter said that God wasn't home or having any visitors, by which he meant no Negroes allowed. Well, this old boy, he had been a good man all his life, and his preacher had told him that heaven would be his place, so he didn't know exactly what to do. So, he had just hung around the gates, until one time St. Peter just had to go take a pee. So while Pete was gone, this old boy slipped through, stole himself a pair of wings, and he really took off. Sailed around the trees, in and out of those golden houses and all, swooped down and buzzed some of those heavenly singers and all, and he had himself a good old time. Meanwhile, of course, St. Pete came back and found out what happened and called out the heavenly police force to go get him. Well, this guy was getting the feel of wearing his wings, and he really took off, zoomed off. They had some time bringing him down, him flying all over heaven fast as he could go. Finally, they caught him, cornered, and he racked up on one of those trees. And I tell you, he looked like a mess with broken wings and all. So they took him and threw him out of the gates. Now... Here comes one of his friends who asked him, What happened, man? He said, Oh, man, when I got there, they wouldn't let me into the white man's heaven. But I grabbed me some wings, and I had me a fly. He said, Oh, yeah? Man said, Yeah, they may not let any color folks in, but while I was there, I was a flying fool. <laughs>